The late George A. Romero was mostly known for his dead movies. Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Land of the Dead, Diary of the Dead, and Survival of the Dead. The latter two aren't as good as the rest, but because of these films, he is remembered as one of the greatest horror directors of all time. Inventing a subgenre also helps too. However, many diehard fans of his work know that he has directed other films such as Martin, Knight Riders, Monkey Shines, and today's film, The Crazies. Many know of the remake done in 2010 with Timothy Oliphant, which was actually pretty damn good in its own right. When that film came out, not many people knew of Romero's original film, despite being a small cult film for many years since its release. However, maybe this will review will urge pe more people to check it out. It's about a small Pennsylvania town whose water supply becomes toxic with a virus developed by the military. Whoever gets the virus becomes deranged and goes insane, hence called crazies. Pretty interesting idea if you ask me. There are some similarities towards zombies, but it is very it does try very hard to be its own film with its own lore, despite being made by the man who made zombies. It has a great premise, but it, it unfortunately falters in many areas. One of which is that it is incredibly slow moving and for most of the running time feels like little is happening. The dialogue is intelligible and none of the characters outside of David and Judy are very likable. However, it makes up for it in its realism, despite some hokey acting here and there, bleak tone, and great tension filled scenes. What I also liked about this film that is somewhat lost in the remake is that you can't tell who is crazy and who isn't, and the fact that some of the deranged have subtle sy symptoms and aren't incredibly noticed until time goes on. The government also isn't really seen as the straight up bad guys like an E.T. or something like that. They actually want to help the people and want to find a cure, but they have to do it by any means necessary, which is seen by the townspeople as evil. It's certainly an interesting watch for any dead fans out there. Just be wary of the dreadful slow pace the film has. The horror doesn't necessarily come from the movie either, just the idea and social commentary it has. However, despite its slow pace, it has that Romero feel. I recommend it.